So look, here's what I need. I need you to just tell me the name of a video game that doesn't exist, okay? Okay. How about something as simple as the generic game? It's such a generic title that everyone wants to know what it is. The generic game. The generic game. You got it. All right. So here we are. We have we have received this request. We are going to talk about a game that doesn't exist. And I already asked Bradley. You guys have already seen the clip. The game is called The Generic Game. So... What? Is that what he really what? said? God, that's damn what he said, it, Bradley. Will you, can we get somebody else? No, there's no. I live. I mean, I'm isolated. You know, there's nobody else around. We got I can't people. Do we literally have people. That's fine. We got it. The God generic it, game, Bradley. Let's let's, let's get into that it. That would be like if we asked somebody and they were like, <laughs> "Video game, the game." You know. Like, yeah. Okay, I agree. but let's run with that. Let's run with that. If if it's called the generic game, maybe it's a game that's like it's like a parody trope, like almost like not another teen movie or something, but game. You know what All I mean? Right. I'm starting in hot. You ready? Oh man, main, this is just gonna main, turn into us like doing main, commentary on the game industry. The it? main the main <laughs> character's name is Jen. G E N. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. G E N. Jen. Yes. Okay. Are you thinking about anybody in particular? You mean who? Who's gonna voice this character? No. I mean, like, why? Like, what's the logic? Explain it to me. The name of the game is generic game. Jen. Oh, generic wow. name. Character's oh. name is Jen. Okay. Be honest, Alec. In the did you guys? I didn't get that. I did not I get thought, that. To be honest, where I thought you were going was you were gonna say, and this person represents like the different console generations, and you go through each like decade of video games and you play like generic 80s games generic 90s games that's where i thought you were headed with it no the thing is is that the, their name is jen but for years we'll have no voice acting so people will think it's gen or jen and no one will know so it'll stick in yeah. everyone's mind so on the playground kids will argue if it's gen or jen and then one dude will call him goon and we'll be like where are you coming from that does not there's not <laughs> even a u or an o in that name please don't it's do like that Ra's al ghul and Rachel al ghul yeah exactly exactly so that's my thought <laughs> Thought bubble starting us out. Our character's Your main hot name. take was that the main character's name need to be Jen. I am trying to build a world with my brothers here. I'm trying okay, to push I'm with the you. ball. I'm with you. What do you think of my idea? It's a generic game. Like this character plays through all the different generations of games because and we see all the generic different like tropes of those different time periods. You know what I mean? Like you're Jen, you're generic, you're generational. What do you think about that? I mean, what kind of game is it? <laughs> like a level based game, and every level is like done in a different art style. Like so maybe you're talking you like, like a, a platform. Or a yeah, yeah, like yeah. Maybe we, get the, we get the conceit, but like, what? How is it gonna play? Like, you get a map that's like a timeline, you know, like how Mario is, where you like go on like a map of levels, right? And each level, I, I don't have the story yet, right? But just the concept. <laughs> it's like. This the, is like talking to somebody who's like, I'm a game designer. It's no, like, oh yeah, real talk. And it's like, yes, I have five folders on my desktop no. with plenty of narrative concepts. <laughs> Listen, oh. like we get the conceit you're going for, and we understand Level that one. there's I'm no narrative the here yet. But like, we were just asking, like, motherfucker, are we jumping? Are we shooting? What are we doing? Well, like, it, dep it depends. It depends, right? Because like, if you're on the Atari, <laughs> you're, if you're in Atari world, you know, if you're in the early gen. Oh, so different genres for different yeah. uh, levels, different worlds. Yeah, because genre also starts with gen. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Generic genres, generations. We're, there's something happening here. <laughs> so you all start right, so, off. So which generation we start with? Because I assume we're not I, going all the way back. I think you start with like Atari vibes. Okay. Like so you maybe what, do what like, genre would maybe, that be? Like a Pitfall type thing? What, what are the games that come to mind? Pitfall, E.T., Pac-Man, you know, stuff like that. No, I think I think going to Atari t is, is going to be difficult to get the player to stick around. The game should start out in Atari with regards to story, plot, and, and look. And then because our inciting incident takes place, it then changes the genre and style to at least... 8-bit NES Mega Drive era. So, so I, that way, I assume the 8-bit era. Wait, uh, the 8-bit era is platforming? Is that what it is? Yeah, I'd say we start there. What if we start in like Assassin's Creed modern big open world game and the different like temples that you have to do in that are like based on different time periods? So, so a hub world, is that what you're saying? Yeah, like a hub world that's like modern. 
So and then a maybe modern hub world in which the levels themselves are classic game genres. Yeah, so like that's maybe the, it's that's like the question. Like how what which genre which genres best define each generation? Because if we're saying the eight bit generation is best defined by platformers, that's already a hell of a, a genre. That's I mean, I feel been, like you gotta hit. I feel like you gotta hit a couple of them, right? In mm -hmm. Atari, like you think of like arcade games that have been adapted. You think of games that have minimal movement. You're probably gonna think of Pong because that's like generic. And then in when you get to eight bit, they had some RPGs, they had some platformers. That's my question though. If you had to marry one genre of video game to each generation of consoles. Just one? Yeah. Just like as a restriction, like, you know, it'll make it interesting. Like, what would you choose? That's my question. The name of our game is called The Generic Game. Yeah. It stars our character Jen or Gen to some people, depending on where you are in the world. Or how you Goon think of to one kid. Or Goon to one kid. Doesn't go online. Yeah. Who doesn't right. read any, any threads, which God bless him. Mm -hmm. It is a game about a a character that goes through other genres of of games via a hub world sure. and this hub world for the for all intents and purposes is a 3d modern game i'm gonna say demon souls-esque because demon souls it has like portals that you walk into and then it takes you to a, a level or a stage so how many levels do we have one for each console generation one for each console generation so and we're starting at nes as like the beginning foundation not the not not counting the modern age I think we should start with Atari. Or maybe it's an I'm open world that. so you can go to whatever. Yeah, so there's like the, you know, the, the fucking pre-NES and then the NES generation is the second one. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's say Atari. Atari what? Arca a basic arcade game? Like a shoot? Just like, like a yeah, that's why I said pre-NES. Like all so that we'll shit. So we'll say Atari single screen game. NES platformer or shooter, top down shooter or side scroller. What, what's, what's the genre for NES? I don't know. It's, it's fucking sure. Plat platformer. Why In not? my mind, it was platformer. For NES, we have a platformer. For the Super NES and the Sega Genesis, I'm inclined to say also platformer, but then these are all going to be platformers. <laughs> They're that all going to be platformer! Dude, right, but when it's you not think, platformer! Is this game just I, a platformer? It'd make the theming much easier. <laughs> what do you mean? That's not. That, that's a totally different idea. Then you're just saying it's a platformer with different graphics. There's a million <laughs> games like that. <laughs> Look, I could talk about this for days, but we don't have days. We have like three minutes left so okay so then what's the super so what's the super nintendo genesis i think genre? top down jrpg no that's like the the super nintendo is like the golden age of that you're talking like, side scrolling Final fantasy 6 like is that considered you, top down you look from the top down i think we're getting bogged up bogged down in semantics i mean like yeah sure let's say rpg for now for the sake of moving up for n64 ps1 Sega Saturn era. What is it? It's got to be the 3D, 3D collectathon yeah. type. Okay, so you're talking like a a, a sandbox. You know what? Sandbox you know what? That platformer. makes me feel more comfortable because we don't define it as a platformer necessarily. When you when you say the word collectathon, I mean yeah, there's some 3D platforming going on. But you make me feel better because you make me think of shit like you know your Banjo Kazooie and you know your shit like that. You know, sure. So yeah, let's let's call, let's call it. Let's for our purposes, we'll call it the 3D play box. So Fair 3D, enough. 3D play box. 3D play box yes then we have the <laughs> ps2 gamecube and xbox console generation what yeah. is the game there to me it would be funny to see a game that it would come out on all three consoles oh i know exactly what genre will come out of all three of those consoles what's that some sort of like extreme sports game like a tony hawk or an ssx ah uh, tony hawk Ooh, that's, yeah. yes i agree with that that's the way it should be we have a tony hawk like a x games sport like an extreme yeah. sports yeah extreme yeah. sports game yeah perfect great so that's our genre there ps3 360 wii that's, a, that's an FPS. FPS. Okay. Golden age of shooters. Great. What? PS Call of Duty. Call of Duty. That is so not a golden mean? age of shooters, but let's move on. PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Wii U slash Switch. Map opening games. What, like a, like a, a Metroidvania? You're, you're talking, no, he's talking like the essence of climbing the tower. Yes. Ringing it. It expands the map. You're talking extreme sandbox. So things like Far Cry, Breath of the Wild. Um, oh, like, uh, what, what was it called? The, the one with the, the kid in Seattle, Second Son, remember that? Yeah, yeah exactly. Second Infamous. Infamous. Son. Like, yeah. you climb up a tower, you, like, see around you, and then you, like, get more, and there's, like, little tasks to do in every sector that you open. So it's the 3D, we'll call 
it the sand, sandbox, open sandbox game, open open world sandbox. That's what, what yeah. the genre is. Uh -huh, so okay. how many is how many is that? Six, seven? If this is supposed to be a generic game, I would imagine that means that like it has elements from like a bunch of shit from that that genre and maybe that era that would make it like hard to place. Like it's just generic, right? Obviously, if we're in the fucking uh, the eight bit era and it plays just like Mario, it'd be like, well, this looks like Mario. But like, what other elements from which other games would you combine with that to make it seem more generic? You know what I mean? Ninja Gaiden. Don't you know, say it like that. Don't. Uh, you gotta do. You I sound mean, you like Ginny do, Lewis. You have to do it. Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> You have to do, you have to put in there like Castlevania stuff. You have to put in Metroid stuff, like all the, you know, all the old school platformers. Mega Man is in there. He's like probably the king oh, okay. of it. How would you combine Mario with Mega Man? I suppose it would be like. Like Mario has flowers, you know, Mega Man shoots lemons. It's the same mm -hmm. thing. I, yeah, I can see that happening. You can bend the rules a little bit. You can add a wall jump. Oh my God. I feel like you're breaking the prime directive and introducing technology from too far in the future. Maybe. I mean, you know, I've played some pretty crazy NES games. What is our protagonist or our, our antagonist? What is our villain? What is our purpose of playing this game? Uh, The antagonist is the internet itself. Okay. So the internet Yo. itself is stuck playing one type of game and Jen has to fix all of the fix, like restore you know all the genres cool? to the world. Is if the internet is like obsessed with putting all these genres into a box and mm. uh, categorizing them and keeping them separate, separate mm. and stratifying mm. them so that like mm -hmm. you in order to stop them, maybe the internet is trying to stop you from being able to wield all the powers from each of these places. Like what if you get like each time you beat a world, you get a particular power from there. Like from, yeah, and then maybe from the, the platforming, you get the wall jump. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, and then, then maybe you can bring places. the maybe you can bring the abilities back and forth between the worlds. And that's yeah. like and it's like, you know, sort of like a um, commentary on like how to make the old new instead of just getting trapped in these like old generic genres. And you got something to say, baby. And and the final level is a battle royale in which you <laughs> have to spend money to win. <laughs> It costs five dollars to play the boss to fight the boss. Yeah. Yeah, it cost five in game dollars. And it's called AE, the company that you have to pay. AE, yes. A E. In America, the game is where we're America are. Entertainment. Challenge everything. Should <laughs> challenge most of it. Be all right. All that's of our it. game. Take us home, Alex. That's that's a real game, man. That's a real game. Thank you. All right. That was back fine. to you in the studio. Uh <laughs> Thanks, uh, Zara Narankar for making this episode of Epic Beer Bros possible, especially during quarantine. If you want to see your idea become an Epic Beer Bros episode, head to patreon.com slash superbeerbros and we'll make magic happen. I've been Ted. So long, stay safe, and go wash your hands.